so um, we talked about what happens inside the body. Now we're going to talk about what happens outside the body because of the allergic reaction. So because of this histamine, give me a second. I got to meet somebody. Somebody's, I got you. Don't worry about it. All right. So because of this histamine causing all the swelling, they're going to have inflammation. So obviously swelling. They're going to have uh, inflammation. For sure, localized, depending on the allergen. So you can have localized inflammation. So if the patient had swallowed something they were allergic to, um, their mouth could become swollen, right? So that's one form. Um, bronch bronchoconstriction, vasodilation, we talked about that already. Uh, I don't think I have a definition for histamine written down. Could you, um, is there one in the book? Somewhere? It's, just a, it's a chemical that's released by uh -huh. white blood cells. And it causes uh, everything to inflate. So it's just okay. a chemical that's released by the white blood cells that causes the allergic reaction to to occur. Gotcha. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So now anaphylax anaphylaxis is just a severe allergic reaction. All right. Just a really really bad allergic reaction that could kill your patient if not treated. Um, so like I said, rapid dilation of blood vessels causes hypotension, right? Because the, the volume is staying the same, but the vessel is getting large. So the, the pressure goes down as the volume, the level goes down. Um, airway swelling, that's the bronchoconstriction. So it's gonna obstruct the airway. Um, and yeah, okay. So air swelling, airway swelling, bronchoconstriction. Uh, some common Allergens, uh, insects, we're talking about bees, peanuts for food, plants, medications, there's a number of them. Um, others can be as simple as duds, dust, makeup, soap, it just, everyone's different. So some people don't even have allergies, some do, and everyone's different depending on which ones they have. Here's some uh, pictures for you guys to watch. See, allergic reactions. So since people are allergic to latex, um most rigs don't even have them anymore latex gloves i mean they don't have even have those because one your patient could be allergic or you could be allergic and the thing is that um just because you're not allergic does not mean that you cannot become allergic so the thing about with this is that an allergic reaction sometimes say uh, it takes time for it to build up to the level where it can actually kill a patient because every time that allergen is introduced in the body, the response becomes stronger and stronger and stronger. Not all the time, but it is that's that's the case when it develops into anaphylaxis. So when it's when the patient actually gets anaphylaxis, that means that um, every time that um, foreign body was introduced to the body inside the body, the response just got stronger and stronger until it became deadly. See, no way to predict exact course of a reaction. Severe reaction often takes place immediately, but can be delayed for 30 minutes or more. I would write that down. Uh, that, that might come up in the future. You never know. That middle uh, bullet point. Mild allergic reactions can rapidly progress to anaphylaxis. So these two kind of go hand in hand. So one is your patient, of course, can have the an immediate reaction to the allergen, or it can take up to 30 minutes. So as far as signs of reaction, they may be itching, hives, uh, flush, means red skin, swelling, and all, and all of this is caused by the histamine. The histamine just causes your body to inflate and um, just swell up. So it's gonna cause itching, uh, because of the discomfort in the skin, in some cases, uh, and hives and all the, uh, flush skin. Warm, tickly feeling in the face and mouth, chest, feet, and or hands. And all these depend on where the contact was and what kind of allergic reaction. All they're doing here is just giving you some examples of what you may see with the patient. You won't see every single one of these with every single patient. You'll see one or two, three, or maybe or it's a combination of them. Signs of allergic reaction may include face, show swelling. We talked about that. 
you know, your hives for your patient. These right here, you just kind of, they're kind of bumped up. That's a hive right there. So respiratory tightness in throat or chest. Again, that's that histamine doing its bronchoconstriction and swelling the airway, the upper airway. Coughing comes from, from the irritation of the histamine as well and the, and the reaction from the allergen. Rapid labored and noisy breathing. That's because of the bronchospasmine and the noise you will most likely hear is wheezing, this one down here. If you hear strider, that means that this patient um, was most likely eating something and the reaction is localized in the upper airway. Um, that's why they have strider because they have a partial obstruction in the upper airway, which is making that whistling sound. Uh, signs and symptoms of allergic reaction. We have an increased heart rate, decreased blood pressure. So if your vessels get big, they get bigger, your pressure goes down because the volume goes down, right? We talked about that. Well, your body's still gonna compensate in one way or another. So the heart rate will increase to try to compensate for the decrease in blood pressure from your vessels getting bigger. Signs and symptoms, generalized findings, itching, headache, runny nose, talking about all that stuff right there. Allergic reactions, signs and symptoms of shock. So we know what shock is. Shock means that oxygen and or glucose are not getting to where they have to go on time. Therefore, we don't create ATP. If we don't make enough ATP, everything starts to shut down because ATP is what gives us life. So as a result, this patient is going to go into shock. And if they have a, and if they're in shock because of an allergic reaction, what kind of shock do we call that, Drake? The Drake. Uh, what was the question again? Sorry. So if my patient is going into shock because of a, an allergic reaction, what anaphylactic shock? shock? Good job. Yes. All right. I know I popped up two more videos that I wanted to show. Um, I forgot exactly when I wanted to show them, but I'm gonna show one right now because I. 